Sahana ji, many people, all of us speak about uh, Saraswati Sindhu civilization and about how the sanitation itself was so advanced for the time. Uh, it was way ahead of its time, right? So the sewerage and even they had a, a flush system. Could you tell us about this? Yes. So, uh, so I told you about the uh, open defecation practice in the villages, right? Uh, but unlike the rural dwellers, the in the cities, latrines and sewerage were well known. So the people of the Saraswati Sindhu civilization, they were urban people, and they were the earliest to use latrines, soap pits, cesspools, pipes and channels, you know, for water, uh, wastewater disposal. So at that time, both centralized and decentralized systems of uh, sanitation were there. Uh, so you find them in different archaeological sites, and they go back to like 8,000 years. So you can imagine how advanced they were. And um, some toilets just had holes in the ground, where others even had seats to sit on. Uh, and in the centralized uh, disposal model, which we found in uh, Mohenjo-daro, uh, Harappa, Chanudaro, Lothal, and other places in uh, Greater India, they mm -hmm. used terracotta pipes to carry the bath water and effluents. Uh, uh, and, and, and they used, uh, they had poor flush toilets, not the automatic ones, of course. So they would pour, uh, you know, after they did the job, they would pour water and flush that. Uh, and those were carried by terracotta pipes into, right. the, into the street drains. And they were collected in pits, which were lined with clay bricks. Uh, and then the solids were allowed to settle down. And then the supernatant uh, liquid uh, would go into a bigger drain. And then though the, the pits were emptied manually and the biosolids, they were uh, sent for disposal, maybe, you know, for, uh, you know, agriculture or anything. And uh, the pits were located at the intersection of several drains so that clogging can be prevented. It was very scientific. Uh, so that was centralized. Then we had the decentralized model, which we found in uh, Kalibangan, uh, Banavali, other places. So where, you know, it would go from the households, the, the, uh, the wastewater, and it would go into U-shaped uh, channels and be collected in perforated jars, which were placed on the main streets. And from there, the, the jars used to be emptied uh, periodically. So they had both the centralized and the decentralized uh, model. Uh, and it's not just, I want to highlight, it's not just the Sindhu Saraswati civilization that had a modern sewerage, because we have found evidence of modern sewerage in uh, Takshashila, Delhi, Ujjain, Arikamedu, Arikamedu in southern India, in Tamil Nadu, uh, where they even had industrial wastewater uh, uh, disposal. They had that. Uh, it was, Arikamedu was a well-known center for textiles and they had uh, contacts with the Roman civilization and they had also a good uh, sewerage system. Please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel. For our other social media links, more content and to support our work, please visit citti.net. Dhanavad. Namaskar.